We are here. We are here. We are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone. This is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Friends and family on Discord and Telegram. Families and friends will prosper. Let's pick up for business. All right, guys. We are working on AUD, JPY. So the market started off from May of 93, straight into a push down. And we had a single bottom, market pushed up. From there, we got another push down to the bottom, market pushed up again, formed a what? Double bottom. Right after that, we got another double bottom, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Market wasn't able to break resistance, broke that down to the support. Okay, market uh, came to lower lows, engulfing pattern happened, green engulfed over the one, two, three, three previous candles and some of the fourth one, market pushed all the way up, broke through this area of resistance, went to one level, two levels, three levels, four levels, created new areas of higher highs, market wasn't able to hold, got a long bullish pattern that engulfed over one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six and a half candles, six, six, six candles in a quarter. From there, that was a big, put, huge push down. After that, you know we're going to get a retest. Market came back to retest. Market came back to retest again. What that look like? <coughs> double top. One, two, market can break. What happens after the double top? The retest, market pushes down. One, two, three levels. Major area support. Market pushed up one more time to try to reach resistance. Wasn't able to make it. Have wicks up to the top, showing market may turn around. Market pushed all the way back down. One, two, about three pushes to the bottom. Major area of support. Lower lows. From there, we got the double bottom. First leg, second leg. Okay, so. What we got here is the first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, and this is the retest. Let me try to clear that up a little more. Look like it's inside. It's two of them. One, two, three. Three is a push up. Okay. Retest the dojis. Market, but market wasn't able to retest right here and stop and go up. Market pushed all the way down, got the engulfing pattern, did not get the engulfing pattern. Got the long wicks to the bottom, showing the market, market may turn around. Market pushed all the way up after that, second candle closed out. One, two, three, four pushes to the top, three pushes to the top, created two high highs of four. <clears throat> got a double top here with a retest, market pushed down, there we go. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. After that, the double top, the retest, or it came to retest, wasn't able to break, got the uh, evening star, and the market pushed all the way back down. Major area support, lower lows again. Something formed here, like a double bottom, pushed up, went to an area of consolidation, pushed up with the area of consolidation. bottom and got a retest came retest came all the way back down to the support area market pushed up retest again one push two push three pushes high highs double, double top push the market down here we go first leg it actually would be double bottom I can't break Double bottom, double top. So if you look at it from this angle, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest at the doji, market push up, retest at the doji again, market pushes up, higher highs. So this will increase the double top, market push up once, market push up twice, can't break. So 
we try to do a double bottom to create that higher highs. So we try to create that uptrend. Wasn't able to. So because this wasn't able to break, we created that downtrend. Excuse me. So major market pushed back down to previous areas of support. We have one, two, three, about four pushes to the bottom. From there, market pushed right back up into a consolidation. So it consolidated sideways. I don't know what happened here. Pushed up, came back down, could reach that support. Next time came around, double top. One, two, market push down. M pattern, retest. Market won't break. Market push down. Back to areas of support. Resistance. Market consolidated for months. Market probably pushed it. Finally pushed down. <coughs> me. Uh, we got another one, two, three pushes to the bottom. And one, and look like market trying to push back up. Losing momentum right here. So it looked like a double bottom has formed. Here we go. So this will be lower lows, second, second level lower lows. Almost like a mid-range point, higher highs. So Mark will like his lows of momentum and maybe retesting, back to somewhere here and shoot back up or what? Let's play our screen. Let's head back over to price action. <laughs> Let's see what the price action candle doing. It's actually a doji, so it's indecisive. So that market, that might mean the market could do anything. It could shoot back down. It could show, it, could, it can consolidate sideways. Or it can go up. Where the market is at right now, it looks like it's trying to break this area right here. Actually dropped it fast. Let's try that again. So you look at market price. Trying to break this area here, which will be this inverted peak. One level up. Trying to head up this level here. We can grab this peak. And let's go a level down. So price action's here. We're going to grab this inverted peak. This peak right here, but there's more to grab. Okay, we can grab this area here. For our time frame, let's take a closer look. Okay, what well it shows that we a little bit. We need some midpoints. Drop it in this inverted peak right here. Let's grab this inverted peak right here. I'm playing with this peak right here. So let's head over to price action and see what's going on. Okay, so. <coughs> Market is doing something in this area here. So what I see is this. We've got a double bottom. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest. Market pushed up once, retest, market pushed up twice, retest, and then market pushed up a third time. And this is the area either is going to break to create areas of high highs, or it's going to drop and go back down to the areas of lower lows. The area we paying attention to. For entry is over near price action. I grab this highest wick. Let's grab this doji, this lowest wick in this area of price action. A nice little rectangle around here. So whatever the market is going to do, <coughs> it's going to form in this area here. Let's go down the time frame to see if we see any entries.
Okay, so what we got is the double bottom with a retest and the push up, or you can call it the triple bottom. But here we go, quadruple bottom. So we got one, two, hold on. Market push up once, twice, three times, four times. This is the fifth time. Now, this could be the area right here. Could be the double bottom. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Retest can happen. So after the retest, market comes back down. Market pushes back up. Out of here. So let's head down the time frame again. The area we're going to pay attention to this time. We're going to tighten up our rectangle. Take a near price action. <coughs> Excuse me. The highest high area that week. Oh, let's go down a time frame. Whatever the market's going to do, we're going to see it right there in this area. And it's definitely looking like a retest. So we, what we see is, I'll read it off for you guys. So we've got the double bottom here, as we've seen earlier. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Or is the double bottom here too? First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Retest market pushes up. Let me go up this area here. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Retest market pushes once. Consolidates. Market pushes twice. Now should be a third push in here somewhere in this area here. Most of the time, market pushes up three times. As we see that the market is falling down for that retest, so market is headed back to this area here, to the SR line, and then we can take it back up. And that's the breakout and retest strategy, guys. So here we go. This is the perfect time to use it. For example, let's zoom into an area. That's an SR line. Okay, so this area here, no, let's not use that one. Okay, this area here. We've got the SR line, and then market price is trying to break. And then once market price break, it'll come back and return. Once it come back and return, it'll shoot out. But in this case, with this pair, we don't know what pair this is. This came back to return once, twice, broke lower lows. We see that double bottom in the market pushed up. All we're doing is waiting for the market to break SR line, to come back to the SR line, to shoot up, to take it to new levels. To figure out what the pattern is going to go on into the rectangle, uh, to figure out the pattern, go to Google for its pattern cheat sheets. Study these patterns. These, stat these patterns will show you how to get an entry when it get out what the market is doing have an idea of what's going on most of the time it's a waiting game please have your patience ready so for example we have a double top here which we did see in a previous market uh market coming down from coming up from somewhere from the bottom markets coming up from somewhere reach areas of resistance come back down taps to support come back retest resistance again doesn't break come back down Market doesn't break, double top. Let's say we get an engulfing pattern here at the bottom and we take this trade. So we found entry here. We'll take it up to highest high area, which will be here. This is what the price is going to return to if it breaks out of here. We'll be headed to the new levels. Once we catch that at the bottom, guys, it'll be an amazing trade, about 105, 104, maybe about 110, 110 pips to the top, 25 pips to the low. <clears throat> okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, AUD, JPY, amazing trade coming up.